Hello, I'm Adrian Campbell. Um, I started Planes TV 25, 26 years ago. Well, it was aviation action at the time. And uh, here we are at our quiet time uh, between the end of the 2015 season and the start of the 2016. And we're all asking ourselves, what's going to replace the Vulcan? That was the big news last year. And it started us thinking about the, the, the older shows 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. And uh, were there some great things in those days that, of course, we miss now? And uh, yes, there are. Um, the early 90s, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, uh, we started to see Russian types coming over. At Farnborough in particular, 1990, 1992 and 1994 uh, that we're showing now. Uh, some astonishing uh, Russian contributions. Uh, 1994, we had the M55, the, uh, the spy plane, uh, the equivalent of the TR-1, uh, U-2. And of course we had the fighters, the MiG-29, the Su-27, displaying to their limit, comparing themselves with the uh, Western fighters of the time. Um, F-16, uh, Rafale are coming in, uh, Tornado still, uh, Harrier to an extent. Another theme of the Farnborough 94 show uh, was the competition for a, an attack helicopter for the army. So, of course, the Apache won the, um, the battle. Uh, the future large aircraft project, which ultimately became the Atlas, was unveiled at Farnborough 94. But uh, at the end of the day, it had to be the Su-30 uh, that stole the show. Um, it would have been Typhoon had it been flying. Um, it had flown by then, uh, but was only available as a mock-up. But Su-30, with a full weapon load and inert weapon load, was a pretty astonishing display. Shame we don't see that sort of thing at shows today. So watch out for, on our YouTube channel, the footage of the Su-30 MK flanker. But you can watch the full Farnborough 94 show on our Vimeo channel and on our Planes TV Plus channel on YouTube. Please feed back to us on Twitter or on Facebook or on our YouTube channel. And that's all for this week, but um, I'm going to enjoy having a look through some more of our archive and I've already thought of half a dozen more amazing displays that we filmed in our 25 years of action. Coming up soon.